now hydraulic press it has two ends and at one end we would be having a plunger like the plunger I am drawing here this is I'll say it is a plunger at the other end there is a load which is to be lifted load I'll denote it by W now in this hydraulic press here it is mentioned it has a ram of 30 centimeter diameter so this portion this is called as the ram and the diameter is given as 30 so I'll denote ram by capital D the diameter is 30 so it becomes 30 centimeters so 0.3 meters and there is a plunger this end is the plunger here we have the diameter of the plunger given 4.5 centimeter so small d it is 4.5 centimeter and that will be equal to 0 0.045 meters now after once we have capital D and small d we can calculate area of ram and area of plunger so I'll denote capital A as the area of ram and this will be pi by 4 into capital D square which is 0 0.3 square my answer is 0 0.0706 meter square next plunger we know the diameter so area will be small a it is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.045 square and that is 0 0.00159 meter square once we have the area now this hydraulic press would be filled with a fluid and mostly we are using oil in case of hydraulic press so the fluid which I am showing here that we will say it is an oil now this hydraulic press which I have drawn a hydraulic press this is used to lift heavy loads as we can see in this diagram when we apply a small force at the plunger because of that force the force is transmitted to this oil and through the oil it goes into the ram and then the load gets lifted so this machine or hydraulic press it works on the principle of Pascal's law so now I'll read the question once again that what we have to find here find the weight lifted here we have to calculate how much is the value of this W so W is the unknown for us by the hydraulic press when the force applied at the plunger is 500 Newton at the plunger the force which we are applying that F I'll denote it as it is 500 Newton so this much is the data given now let us start with the solution for this problem in solution I'll say that since the intensity of pressure at the plunger is given by that intensity of pressure is equal to force upon area so therefore small p it will be equal to force at the plunger that is given as 500 Newton divided by here a indicates area of the plunger and this area that is 0 0.00159 meter square so from this numerator upon denominator will give me my answer of intensity of pressure and that is it is 314.47 
इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर नाउ दिस इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर विच इज देर एट द प्लंजर द प्रेशर विल रिमेन सेम इन ऑल डायरेक्शन दैट इज अलॉन्ग एक्स अलॉन्ग वाई एंड अलॉन्ग जेड डायरेक्शन सो वॉट एवर प्रेशर इज देर एट द प्लंजर एंड सेम प्रेशर विल गो इन टू द रैम बिकॉज ऑफ पासकल्स लॉ सो आई से दैट फ्रॉम पासकल्स लॉ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर एट द प्लंजर is equal to the intensity of pressure at the ram so this same pressure will be there at the ram i'll write down therefore the intensity of pressure p is equal to load upon area because at the ram the load which is lifted that is w so from this therefore small p value it is 314.47 into 10 raised to 3 it's equal to w upon capital a that is the area of the ram it is 0.0706 so from this if i multiply it onto the other end w that comes out to be 22.22 .22 into 10 raised to 3 newton or 22.22 kilo newton this is my answer so in short here in this video we have seen the problem of hydraulic press where by applying 500 newton at the plunger we are lifting a load of 22.22 kilo newton so hydraulic press is used to lift heavy loads by applying comparatively less efforts and with this we complete the problem